everybody. Welcome back to Faraday Research. It is Sunday night. Uh, it's the Victoria Day weekend here, so it's a long weekend. And I decided to uh, get on the uh, bench here and start doing some testing. So I've been fiddling around with this uh, 555 timer circuit. You can get them on Amazon. And uh, I've been doing a lot of testing. So what I wanted to do was to see if I could actually use this 555 timer circuit to run the Adams motor. So I found out a couple of interesting uh, things and also a, an anomaly that I really can't understand. Um, I think I understand it, but uh, it's just theory. Um, so what I did was I bypassed the basically the uh, hull sensor and I actually didn't even need the wheel for to actually do this test so I got the uh, 555 timer circuit set up I've been going up and down in the frequencies duty cycle everything and it turns out I cannot I repeat cannot get the same efficiency with electronic switch and Dollar talks about this and a lot of this stuff that you cannot get the same effects unless you use an analog system. So the Adams motor with the wheel running it as normal, I get the best efficiency possible out of this. So I'm just going to show you really fast. So I can only get it up to about 8 volts um, to get the best efficiency with this circuit. And I've gone right up the band, up and down, duty cycle, up and down. And I can't really get it much better than 120 to 200 milliamps. With the Adams motor setup, I can get it running down to like 70 or 80 milliamps. Means, you know, running in the configuration of the Adams motor, it's about four to five times more efficient using an analog, you know, reed switch and a mechanical switch working together with the wheels spinning, I can dial in the power so much more accurately and get so much more efficiency and also the high voltage uh, back EMF coming off the, off the coil here and also run it cool. So if you don't get the frequency just right, you know, your coil's gonna start heating up. You're gonna get issues. And the Adams motor runs cool. So as I did before, I ran it with the wheel in a regular Adams motor configuration. It runs extremely efficient, gets the highest voltage out, and it doesn't overheat. I cannot achieve that with a 555 timer circuit running at a very high frequency. Now MOSFET may be a little bit different, but you do not get the flyback uh, charging effects that you would with the mechanical switch. And that's what he talks about in uh, Robert Adams' uh, patents, is you have to have that mechanical break, the switch, you got the spark. And again, it's going back to the spark theory. I'll show you what I got going here. I'm just gonna turn it on. I can only get it up to about eight volts to get somewhat decent efficiency out of it. Okay. That's eight volts. So it's, it's taking 180 milliamps. The light is going and it's not as um, consistent as it is in the Adams motor setup. So I bypassed everything. I'm running it off the mechanical switch, but running it this way, it just doesn't do it. I can't get the efficiency. Very, very touchy to get the right frequency going and get the maximum output. It just doesn't happen with the 555 timer circuit. And I could go way up high, but I could go into a frequency so high that my switch does not work. Now, if I were to get it hooked up with the wheel and just run it off the actual, what I'm getting off of the, uh, the reed switcher, I'm using a hull sensor, proximity sensor, I'm getting a way better efficiency. You just can't get it, look. You know, it's like 180 milliamps, so it's about almost five times less efficient. 
Now, if I were running it at eight volts in the Adams motor setup with the wheel, this would be down to about maybe 60 or 70 milliamps. So obviously it's showing me that you just can't do it with electronic switch, like a 555 timer circuit. So I don't know if I'm, you know, trying to overanalyze it. I don't know if I'm correct or I'm right or I'm wrong, but it, it just to me, it seems like the 555 timer circuit just cannot get the efficiency. It's not there. You know, when I add the wheel and put everything back to the way it was, then my efficiency goes, you know, five times better than what it is right now. So that's an important find. So obviously what I've been doing for the last four years is correct. I keep proving myself correct on this motor. So yeah, uh, food for thought. Uh, don't forget, become a member, bottom right hand corner. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you see. Uh, comments below. And I got all my links there for Patreon, PayPal, all that stuff. All my diagrams for my schematics, everything's all on the Patreon. So yeah, um, let me know what you think and uh, we'll see everybody soon. Take care for now.